All right, round two of the playoff kicks off this week in high school football, and we have a ton of games taking place in our area tomorrow night. That's pretty exciting. Our sports director, Emily Cochran, joins us now with a preview of some of the biggest games. So, Emily, we've got eight games that you guys are going to be getting at this week. Yeah, that's right, Lee and Shelby. Let's talk about four of those games we'll be covering tomorrow night. Let's get right into it. Up first, we have a really good matchup. It's our game of the week. Undefeated Montgomery Catholic coming down to take on Citronelle. These two 5A teams, they've never played before. The Wildcats are 9-2 and two and coming off a 14-9 win over Shelby County. The number one Knights just defeated Holtville 52-0. They've been outscoring opponents 480-62 to 62 this season. So Citronelle is going to have their hands full with this high-flying offense tomorrow night. Up next, we have the number one team in 6A, the Sarah Land Spartans hosting Magadori. These two met last season in the second round, and Sarah Land got the win in that one, 54 to 14. The Yellow Jackets are 7 and 3, and coming off a close 24-23 win over Wetumpka. The Spartans haven't lost a game all season. They held Chelsea to a field goal last week in round one, beating them 42 to 3. Sarah Land head coach Jeff Kelly has weapons all over the field on both sides of the ball, with eyes on the on their second blue map and a chance at redemption for the state title game in 2023. They won't be letting off the gas any time soon. Now we have another 5A matchup between Andalusia and UMS Wright. It's Bulldogs versus Bulldogs. Terry Curtis and company came into the postseason as the number four seed, and they upset the number one seed, Demopolis, last week in the first round, defeating the Tigers 21 to 7. Now, Andalusia is the number two seed in 5A Region 2. They took down Elmore County 27 to 7 just last week. Now, the last time these two teams met was in 2021 in the second round. Andalusia won 20 to 14. UMS is 2 and 18 all time against Andalusia and would very much like to make it 3 and 18 after tomorrow night. Now, last but not least, we have a 6A matchup between St. Paul's and Pike Road. The Saints won on the road last week, shutting out Helena 26 to 0. St. Paul's will host the number one Patriots at EE Delaney Field here in the second round. Pike Road is coming off a 37 7 win over Bessemer City. They are 8 and 3 on the season, while St. Paul's is 9 and 2. The Saints only losses coming to number one Sarah Land and Spanish Fort. St. Paul's has been one of the biggest surprises this season, and they hope to keep that rolling here in round two. So a lot of great matchups this week in our area and across the state tomorrow night. All right, so Emily, no more Big Friday kickoff. Last week was y'all's last show. I know, me and Hal are really sad, but it, it, all season long, it's been so much fun to be able to go out and highlight school spirit, get to do live interviews with head coaches mm -hmm. and players, the cheerleaders, the band. We've had some awesome interviews. It's been a ton of fun. Yeah. Uh, you guys will still have highlights, though, on first and 10. Yeah, we will we'll be on after college football on Fox. All the top highlights, all the top plays. You don't want to miss it. It's mine and Hal's last full show of first and 10. I mean, the season is just wrapping up. It so feels quick. like it just started. Yeah. I know it's, it's, it's just by. flown by. <laughs> I can't believe it's almost over, but this is the best part of the season. Yes, Playoffs. it is a lot of local teams to root for. So thank you, Emily. Thanks, Shelby. Thanks, Lee. All right, we'll be right